Hi, I'm Kylie, and this is Just Another Army Vet, which is all about military. Today's video comes from a channel called Military Analysis. It's an up-and-coming channel with a lot of good videos. If you get a chance, go check them out. I'll link them down below. The video is, Why Japan's Military is Becoming More Powerful. Let's get to it. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Military Analysis channel. 80 years ago, the Empire of Japan had one of the world's most powerful navies, and its armies began a massive campaign against much of Southeast Asia and the Western Pacific. Its territory stretched across much of China, and its military seemed to be unstoppable. Yet less than four years later, its cities were destroyed and its army and navy vanquished. Today, Japan is a significant ally of the United States and could be a crucial partner in a war against the People's Republic of China. Yes, Japan is a big partner with the U.S., and they are also members of the Quad, along with India and Australia, of course. The Quad was the brainchild of a former Prime Minister, Shinzo Abe, who was just assassinated a few weeks ago, unfortunately. But that was formed in 2007, and it was to establish an arc of Asian democracy. That was the purpose. In other words, it is to counter China. The humbly named Japan Self-Defense Forces, JSDF, was established in 1954. Yet the That's JSDF him right there, the Prime Minister. for defensive purposes, owing to the Japanese constitution, which forever renounced war as an instrument for settling international disputes. So something to think about in regards to the Japanese constitution, but it was mostly drafted by American lawyers in 1946 during the American occupation of Japan after World War II. So that's something to keep in mind. It grew out of the 75,000 member lightly armored National Police Reserve created after the Korean War began in 1950. Currently, the JSDF's active personnel numbers almost 250,000 active personnel and 1% of Japan's GDP goes towards the defense budget. The Ministry of Defense budget for the fiscal year 2021, which begins in April, is expected to be around 51 billion, growing for the ninth year in a row. Whoa, what kind of a weapon was that just a moment ago? In 2019, ago? Japan ranked eighth in global military spending, but it spends a small share, 1% of its wealth, on its military compared to other countries. Hmm. Even as Japan is focused on defensive capabilities, including carefully avoiding the word military for its armed forces, the nation's government has seen the dangers posed by potential adversaries, including China, North Korea, and Russia. As such, officials in Tokyo have begun to push citizens to put aside the widespread unease over a more robust role for the Japanese military while also trying to support increases in defensive spending. The Associated Press reportedly that currently, Tokyo directs tens of billions of dollars annually towards Japan's ever-growing arsenal that now consists of nearly 1,000 warplanes, dozens of destroyers, and even submarines. Ooh. The military may be deemed Japan's self-defense forces, but those forces rival the size and capabilities of Great Britain and France. After the United States, Russia, China, and India, it is ranked fifth globally in overall military size. In contrast, its wow. defense budget ranks sixth among 140 countries by the Global Firepower Rating site. That's impressive. It also shows no sign of slowing down, as Japan invests in the best equipment and small arms available. Critics warn that Tokyo should learn from its past and pull back from bold military expansion. Still, proponents of Japan's military might see that it is necessary and even high time to an alliance with Washington and regional partners. Japan faces different risks coming from multiple fronts. Defense expert Haijo Sato, a professor of the Institute of World Studies at Takashoko University in Tokyo, told the AP. Identifying those threats, Japan has built up an arsenal that includes more than 900 warplanes while its navy consists of 48 destroyers, including eight armed with Aegis missile combat systems and 20 submarines. Japan is also one of the U.S. partners and go all in on the advanced Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II stealth fighter, of which 42 will be the F-35B variant. In addition to being the largest user of the fifth generation stealth aircraft, 
The deployment of the Izumo-class multi-purpose destroyers could allow Japan to operate de facto aircraft carriers for the first time since World War II. Ooh. A strong Japan bound by a constitution that calls for defensive use of its military could be just what the United States and its partners need to help stand up to China in the Western Pacific. So that was a short video, but I thought it was very informative. In all honesty, I had forgotten that Japan is ranked number five in terms of military size. I mean, they have a very impressive force considering how small a country they actually are. In terms of, do they really need to still start building up their defense forces power? Yes, the China threat is real. And those who are for Japan building up their military, I think, can thank Mr. Putin for opening up people's eyes because yes, a war in 2022 is very possible and we can't take peace for granted. So what do you guys think? Do you think Japan is on the right track in terms of building up its defense forces and also becoming a valued member of the Quad? Please drop your opinions in the comments. Until next time, I do have a video all about the Chinese threat to Taiwan. I'll put that right here. Thanks for watching and please smash that like button.